in the first clip that we just talked about, I asked, what is the agenda that President Obama is pushing? And I think we know what the agenda is. And when Paul Ryan was put on the ticket, we heard Joe Biden say, Social Security, no cuts, guaranteed, flat out guarantee. And the question became, for those of us who are concerned about Social Security and Medicare, would the president offer such a guarantee? We know that the president has put on the uh, table Medicare cuts. We know that he's been seeking a grand bargain since he came into office in 2009. And that grand bargain is cut Social Security, cut Medicare. Why? Not because Social Security adds to the deficit. It statutorily is not allowed to contribute to the deficit. It is also the most rock-solid program that exists across government and, frankly, I would say across any institution. Do you know a company that has a guaranteed 25-year horizon for anything it does? I don't. And so Paul Ryan gave the president an opportunity to come out and say, I'm going to draw a serious distinction here. Forget about the $716 billion in savings that uh, was rolled into the Affordable Care Act and then rolled back into Medicare that way that Paul Ryan embraces as well. Let's go beyond that. I'm not going to cut Medicare. Paul Ryan's going to destroy it. That's the distinction. So has the president come out and said that? No. No, the president in this AP interview basically comes out and says, I'm ready to deal away things that the American public doesn't want things dealt away so that I can be seen as the great compromiser, I guess. I don't know. What I'm offering the American people is a balanced approach that the majority agree with, including a lot of Republicans. Uh, And uh, for me to be able to say to the Republicans, the election's over, You no longer need to be focused on trying to beat me. What you need to be focused on and what we should have been focused on from the start is how do we advance uh, the American economy. I'm prepared to make a whole range of compromises, uh, some of which I get criticized from uh, the Democratic Party on, in order to make progress. But we're going to need compromise on your side as well. And, uh, you know, the days of Viewing compromise as a dirty word need to be over because the American people are tired of it. Yeah, the American people are clamoring for you to go and put their Social Security and Medicare on the table to go back to tax rates that were supposed to sunset two years ago anyways. Is that the message I'm hearing? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that uh, Ryan Romney will destroy Medicare and will attempt to destroy Social Security. But that doesn't seem to me to be give uh, the president license to go and just cut it. Unbelievable. 